Happy 70th anniversary to WBAY-TV in Green Bay, the legacy station and the second station on the air in the entire state of Wisconsin. From everybody here at GMA, thank you for all you do for the viewers of Northeast Wisconsin. Cheers to your decades of success and many amazing years to come. Happy 70th anniversary, WBAY. <laughs> From everyone here at Good Morning America. Thank you for all you do for the viewers of Northeast Wisconsin. Good evening, friends. We are pleased to have you join us for this long awaited occasion. Those were the first words ever spoken by anchors of WBAY TV 70 years ago tonight. The station made history as the first television station on the air in Northeast Wisconsin. The second one, as you heard, in the state. We have a copy of that script upstairs, too, by the way. A lot has changed, of course, since March 17th, 1953. But one thing has not, and that's our mission to bring you the very latest news, weather, and sports as they develop. To mark our 70th anniversary, Jeff Alexander looked back at our station's history and joined us now to explain how WBOI's legacy lives on. I know I speak for all of us in saying there is a tremendous amount of pride when we walk in the door every day. WBAY has always been and remains the most popular go-to station in Northeast Wisconsin. It's a legacy we all take very seriously. For many in today's WBAY family, this station is a part of their earliest memories. I grew up watching Channel 2 and WBAY, and now to be here as part of the team, I mean, I'm incredibly honored. We have such a strong tradition, amazing journalism, and passionate people. The station I grew up with, I mean, there's no, no doubt about it. We grew up as a kid, the, the noon show was must-see TV. We grew up on a farm, and you shut up during the noon show, because that's when the farm markets were on. Mike Austin, Channel 2's farm specialist, brings you the only complete agribusiness report in the area. Uh, and then it was just the station, and I, I still think it's that way. Friends, we in the news department here at WBAY-TV are quite excited today. And it's all thanks to the station's pioneers, both those on the air and behind Holly the scenes who worked at WBAY for decades. Len Eilenfeld, who was a guy who worked for the Packers and worked here. You know, Rex Marks, Chuck Ramsey, Les Sturmer was a guy, Bobby Nelson. If I had $5 every time somebody, I was Bobby Nelson before he passed away, I'd have been a rich, rich man. Good evening, friends. We are pleased to have you join us. As the first station on the air in Northeast Wisconsin, WBAY's history is unmatched, and we hear that often. When you say you work for WBAY, people are like, oh, Legacy Station. Um, I've always watched that. I grew up watching that. And now I'm getting to the age where people are saying to me, I remember watching you when I was younger, and now they have families of their own. So it's actually it's coming full circle. Like many of our predecessors, WBAY has become a second home for many of us, a family-like feeling on the air and off. What you see on television, we are, we are real. And behind the scenes, all of us together, people who work in production and sales and marketing, photographers, we're all together. People who were here 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, I mean, I came up with a lot of you guys. It's, it's you, you were at my wedding, <laughs> you know? And that's, that's just crazy to me that, you know, to see people and you have families and now your, fam your kids are, you know, off on their own. And it's, it's just, it's kind of cool because we keep people, which is part of our, our legacy. A legacy now spanning seven decades. And while a lot has changed technology-wise and with the tools we use to gather the news, other things have not. A much faster pace, but I think we still have that tradition, we still have those values, and that has stayed original. You know, to its core, we are who we are, and this tradition has carried on at WBAY. I've always felt, from my perspective, I'm just trying to carry on a tradition with people before me. Mm -hmm. You know, the Chuck Ramsey, the Les Sturmers, Joe Schmitz. Um, guys like that, Bobby Nelsons, that kind of blazed the trail for us to be where we are. We're the second TV station in the state of Wisconsin, and, and we kind of set the standard. People learn how to do television, how to watch television through us, and we continue on that tradition. We continue that legacy. My job is just, just don't blow it. <laughs> I mean, it's as simple as that. And with 40 years under his belt, I don't think Bill has to worry about blowing it. Here's to WBAY's next 70 years.